welcome back summoners to another MLG Top 10. Today we're going to be looking at Dignitas and their Top 10 MLG plays. So let's get started at number 10, where Cutie Pie's got a 1v1 duel with Team Dynamic Zig in the bottom lane. Phage Prox and Ezreal slow down Corky just long enough to deal a lot of damage. A flash over the wall and Corky thinks he's safe, but True Shot Faraz says otherwise. Play number 9, we're going to see Skara on Karthus doing something a little different. First off, he's in top lane ganking. Second off, he's tower diving very far against Ixhazard's Malphite. GG's Cogwa is going to come up from the mid lane and seal the deal on Skara as he winds up dying. But a wall of pain and a very quick 3 lay waste are going to be just enough for Skara to pop the Requiem and land a kill on Ixhazard. Play number 8, we're going to have Olaf baiting out interesting kind of setup against CLG Prime. Now if you take a look at the mini map, you're gonna see Nautilus is coming into that tri brush to try to set up a gank. Ixhazard is very low though, and Malphite is not gonna be able to resist the true damage of Olaf, so baiting out the gank, Olaf's gonna go in and set up a very nice kill for Skaris Karthus, and they pick up first blood. Play number seven, we're gonna take a look at Dignitas turning a gank into a little bit of a profit. Abba, Cutie Pie, and Locust get trapped out here by Hotshot GG on Nautilus. Double lift goes in, but a nice exhaust cleanse, and then the silence from Soraka are shutting him down before he can do absolutely everything. Cutie Pie and Locust turn the heat on the Hotshot GG. Scar comes down from mid lane to help that out as well, but they completely shut down the gank and net a nice kill for Dignitas. Play number six, we're going to see Dignitas now being the ones diving deep once again as Morgana baits out a brilliant pull there from Nautilus. Just enough for Nocturne to decide to come down with a paranoia. Clean up on Hotshot GG. Chaucer's left in a 1v4 and Alistar, I don't care if you can build those or not, you are going down. Play number five, we're going to take a look at a very long term fight. Starting off with Urgot and Rise, a swap goes down as the Shen ultimate from Stan United is going to save Rise, but not long enough as the rest of the team catches up and the fight ensues. Morgana's going to pick up a kill there as Crumb's taking all the damage between Black Shield and Turtle Stance, dishing out as much tankitude as he can. Morgana's going to secure a kill on Nautilus while this is going down. A flash over the wall from Scar, a chase from Shen, but a dark binding in tower range means that Uder's going to turn around and secure a kill, even though Shen's able to pick up a kill onto Morgana there, as well as another kill going down in the, in the fight for Dignitas. That is not enough as CLG Prime trying to run away. Double lift, you got locked on, and that's going to be an ace. Play number four, we're gonna take a look at a very nice catch out on Shen here as Dignitas decides to chase after the extremely tanky character. But they have a Kogwa on their team, a Bioarcane Barrage is going to do work. That Kogwa's also elaborate bait as going out a little bit too far. CLG tries to pincer attack, but the sheer damage amount that they have is enough to melt down Shen, let the Mundo and the Udyr separate the rest of CLG from the team, and Dignitas is going to clean up in this fight. There's another kill going down on the double vein, and a third kill secured on Chowster as they turn a very clean three for nothing. Top play number three, you're going to take a look at Skara, just setting up a very nice paralyzing gaze for his AD carry to start chopping away on the team dynamic for these kills. Look at this, Paradoxical lands a Soul Shackle, that's not going to be enough. Corky Valkyrie over the wall decides that two kills is better than one. He's going to pick up a kill there on Mundo, waits for the Zion Spartan Guard near the prop, secures himself the third kill there as Udyr chases down Tarek to secure a fourth. That is a four for one and a very quick turnaround from Team Dignitas. Play number two is going to take some very excellent coordination from Dignitas as they push into the base of Team Dynamic. Skarner is going to run in with a Shirelli's Reverie and an Impale, netting Zion Spartan and trying to drag around the Glacial Storm just long enough to deal the damage. Orianna in the meantime is going to land a brilliant Command Shockwave, but look at that! Triple flash in opposite directions from Dignitas. The wall to seal off Orianna from running away, and Dignitas is going to clean up TD and take that game. Your top play of the day, though, is going to be all about I Will Dominate. Look at the sneaky Scorpion. Catches a little bit of a stun there from Terra. Catches the slow and Equilibrium Strike. But a Baron Steel is going to seal the fate away for Team Dynamic. Tarek and Corky get stuck in the Baron Pit. Crescendo goes across the other three remaining members of Team Dynamic. And it is all Dignitas, baby, as they are able to evaporate three members, going down for a fourth as they pick up the kill on Pixel. 4-0 and a Baron Steel. Don't forget guys, you can submit your own top 10 plays to MajorLeagueGaming.com slash top 10.